Hi, this is Deb Aoki for Sakura of America. Today I'll be showing you how to use word balloons and sound effects to bring your comic stories to life. The tools I'll be using today are the Sakura Manga Comic Pro Set. It includes my Pigma markers, which have a variety of different tips, so I can draw all kinds of lines from very thick to very thin. Pigma markers also have dark pigment based inks, so my drawings will reproduce nicely and look good for years. When you're drawing comics, it's a lot of fun to just draw characters, but if you really want to bring them to life, draw them in a story. Drawing your characters as they interact with each other, talk with each other, do things together is what really makes them touch your readers' hearts. But one of the neat things you can do is that you can make them talk with something called word balloons. The interesting thing about word balloons is that just the shape of them, the kind of lines that you use to create them, and the way that you put text in them can really say a lot about how the characters are talking. So for example, dotted lines can see like whispering, spiky lines can make it louder, Small text can make it seem softer. Script text can make it sound like you're speaking sweetly. Um, square text can make it sound like you're, it's a mechanical or um, radio transmission. There's all kinds of possibilities. The way word balloons work is basically, they tell the reader who's speaking. So for example, you have these two bits of dialogue and either of these characters could be speaking it. But a word balloon puts a circle around the text, has a little tail that points to the person's mouth who's speaking. But you can do more with, it, with word balloons than that. Changing the lines around a word balloon can even change how people perceive how loud or how soft the character is speaking. So for example, a dotted line and make it seem like they're whispering. Using small text inside there, can make it seem like they're speaking more softly. Then if they're using a bolder line for the balloon, and big text, See how, this, how one character looks like they're speaking more softly than the other? Other ways that you can show differences of speech is changing what the word balloon's shapes are. So for example, if someone feels sick, you can make a wobbly word balloon. You can even make a double wobbly. And you can make the lettering kind of uneven, so they looks like they're really feeling sick. Or if you want to show someone talking very quickly, just make a regular word balloon and cram a lot of words in there. And see how it makes it seem like this character is speaking very quickly, that she can barely fit it into the word balloon? If you're trying to show, say for example, text coming from a radio or from a robot, try using angular shapes for the word balloon. And maybe like a little lightning bolt instead of a straight tail for the word balloon. And try using angular text in the inside. Showing what people are thinking or dreaming about. The usual way to do that is to draw a cloud, scalloped edges, little dots leading to their head, and whatever they're thinking of. So maybe he's thinking about having a cupcake. Or you can make the, even the thought balloon kind of angry by using very rough lines, 
same thing. And you don't even need to use words. You could just do like big angry scroll. Shows that the man's angry. Or just even dreaming. And just see again the clouds. And you could draw something inside there. Like say, on a bunch of sheep jumping over a fence. Besides word balloons, you can also use sound effects. The interesting thing about sound effects is, is the quality of your line can it determine what kind of sound it is. So for example, for loud sounds, you might want to use bold, thick lines, very straight, dark. Whereas softer sounds, you might want to use a lighter, thinner line. So for example, in smaller words like Smaller, smaller musical notes. See how you can kind of see that this is very loud and this is very soft? When you look at the two, with the loud sounds, bold, thick lines, raggedy musical notes versus small, thin lines, tiny musical notes. The same goes for showing how loud people are talking. So for example, using very thick lines for the text and jaggedy lines for the balloon really makes it clear that this person is yelling. Of course, it also helps to have her hair blowing, it's like he's speaking so loud, he's like blowing her out of the water. <laughs> You'll see sound effects all the time in comic books. A classic one is the pow. You can also see it like speed lines to show the motion of the fist. You can use lines to show motion. So for example, bunny hopping. And then you go, here's where he landed. And if you want to put a sound effect, you can go Boing, boing, boing. Another way to do it is speed lines. So for example, just this car alone looks like it's standing still, but all you need to do is take your pen, start here, and just let go. Start here, let go. And you have speed lines. And you can make a little cloud of dust. And if you really want to emphasize that, Put a little zoom in there. See how much faster it looks like she's going? The next time you pick up a comic book, look at the different ways that comic artists use sound effects and word balloons to tell the story. You'll see there are hundreds of ways to do it and more that are created every day. See if you can add them to your stories.